What if you had the power to time travel? What would you do? Would you go back in time and do it all differently? Take school more seriously. Drop that toxic friend you hung out with for way too long. Maybe spend more time with the people you love before they're gone. Would you invest in Apple or Amazon before they were huge? Maybe write down some lotto numbers or kill a butterfly just to see what happens. Or would you go even farther back in time and see human history up close? You could try to stop Lee Harvey Oswald from assassinating Kennedy, or you could stop the assassination of Franz Ferdinand, essentially never causing World War I, and thus World War II never would have happened. You can go see Jesus' crucifixion and see if he actually comes back three days later. Or you could go back and stop Adam and Eve from ever eating that apple. You know, if you believe in that sort of stuff. That begs the question though, if you could go back in time, would you even be able to change anything? Or is what's done, done? And if you could change things, how would you know if what you're doing is the right thing, with paradoxes threatening life as you know it? Plus, the language barrier in anything over a hundred years ago would be absolutely insane. Even English would be a nightmare to try and hold a conversation with. Let's say you decided to travel to 1610 when people fucking sounded like this. Though I with death and with reward did threaten and encourage him not doing it and being done. I would instantly just try to travel back. You also wouldn't be able to eat anything. People in the past were used to the food and drinks that they had, but you with your nice, clean, purified water drink and stuff wouldn't stand a chance. You know what? Traveling backwards seems way too stressful. Why not forward? Seeing the future sounds fun, doesn't it? Oh, I bet we have flying cars, a colony on Mars, that Captain America machine that makes you superhuman, and a pill that lets you eat anything you want without gaining weight. Poverty doesn't exist, and world hunger has been solved for centuries now. Let's go to the future. But you technically wouldn't exist in the future. What if you can't just be a tourist and it's actually a one-way trip? You're an adult with no ID, no social security number, no birth certificate, you have no friends, family, or references. You have no way of doing anything meaningful in the future and you would just be a broke nobody with no education to match the world you're living in. Let's say you could go back to your original time though. Go stay in the year 3000 for a year and then come back. You still would have aged that year and there's nothing you can do about it without reversing space in which reversing your memories for the year you just lived. Would going to the future even be worth it then? That's assuming that there is a future. Traveling forward would be one of the biggest blind leaps ever. Let's imagine a time traveler 400 years ago finds a nice clearing in the forest and decides to do some Doc Brown shit, decides to travel to the year 2000, and then BAM! He finds himself embedded under several million tons of concrete from a skyscraper in what's now called New York City. Traveling to the future, you would have to prepare yourself for anything, and that's impossible. Even if everything looked good at first glance, there's no telling if your race, ethnicity, hair color won't make you a part of a persecuted minority in that time period. Maybe the robots have taken over and you're instantly shot on the spot for being a living being. In short, going back in time and going forward in time seems like an overall bad idea. The pro-con list isn't looking all that good. But who says time travel is real in the first place? Not me. I'm convinced that time travel isn't even possible. We know with confidence that we can't go backwards or jump forward in time. The reason is that, just in the way we can't make electrons that have different masses than they naturally do because the mass of an electron is fixed, Neither can we make objects that move through space-time at any different rate than they naturally do, because the speed of which all objects move through space-time is fixed at C. C is the constant that we don't know how to manipulate. Ever since the Big Bang explosively set off the expansion of the universe 13.8 billion years ago, the cosmos have been growing, something physicists can measure as the Hubble expansion. They don't think of it as stars flying away from one another, but as stars embedded in space and space continually expanding. Albert Einstein built his theory on general relativity, the theory that explains everything from black holes to cosmic evolution on the idea of four-dimensional space-time. Physicist Richard Moeller says that space is not the only thing expanding. Space-time is expanding, and we are surfing the crest of the wave of what we call now. Every moment, the universe gets a little bigger, and there's a little bit more time. And it's this leading edge of time that we refer to as now. The future does not exist yet. It's being created. Because the future doesn't exist yet, we can't really travel to it. And Muller argues that going back in time is equally improbable since to reverse time you would have to decrease the amount of space in the universe. And this does happen, such as when a star explodes or a black hole evaporates, but the reduction in time is so small that it doesn't really help in the case of time travel. The idea of studying time itself didn't exist prior to Einstein. Einstein gave physics the gift of time. Before him, no physics theories have the flow of time built into them in any way. Time was just a platform on which you did your calculations and there was no mention of now. 
Einstein was unable to explain the flow of time into the future instead of in the past, despite the fact that the theories of physics worked equally well going both forward and backward in time. And although he could calculate the different rates of time depending on the velocity and the gravity, he had no idea why time flowed at all. We have such a small understanding of time that the idea that this tiny, civilized monkey people could somehow control it is almost laughable. Now technically, we can move forward in time. We're doing it always. But we can also control the rate at which we move through time. This is a consequence of relativity and that not all clocks are the same. Let's say somehow you were able to build a big enough rocket to provide a constant acceleration of 9.8 meters per second, and you could somehow reach the center of the Milky Way galaxy, a healthy 20,000 light years away, in just a couple of decades of your personal time. You could stop for a few hours there, have a picnic, take some pictures, and hop back on your rocket and come back to Earth. By the time you returned, over 40,000 years would have passed on Earth while it only felt like a couple of decades to you. So yes, traveling into the future, technically, theoretically, kinda possible. Going into the past, though, is a complete no. What has happened has already happened and there isn't any feasible way to go backwards in time. The progression of time is always inevitable. I've always been really big into ideas like this. I fell in love with space, the universe, aliens, technology, and of course, the idea of time travel. Movies like Back to the Future, Hot Tub Time Machine, Seventeen Again, and The Terminator put these big fantasy ideas in my head that this type of stuff might be possible one day. It seemed so fun, even if it had its issues. And as I got more into it and started researching the topic more, my dreams were slowly crushed, and now are yours because you clicked on this video. I think that there's a really good lesson in this though, and that we need to appreciate the now, the moment in time you're in and allowed to experience. It sounds really cheesy, but life can easily be taken for granted with how common it seems, but when you really take a step back and think about it, you can see how fragile and rare everything is. The chances of you and me living on the same planet as each other at the same time and able to interact in this way is fucking insane, even if it isn't. Your time here is limited and I'm pretty sure once it's all over, that's all you're gonna get. So appreciate it and do whatever brings you the most happiness. Literally do whatever the hell you want, because yesterday is gone forever and who knows about tomorrow. Hey, thanks for watching the whole video. I really appreciate it. I put a ton of effort in this one, so it would mean a lot to me if you could just hit that like button. Also, if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and maybe checking out my TikTok at OnlyJS. I post like every two weeks here, but I post daily over there. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you next time.